Hello, hello, Ederson Oliveira here. This is the first BNN tip of the week. And today I'll be talking about a little note that you can see when you are on a BNN website. You right click on the page, you view source, and then you can see the text at the very top of the page that says dot that nook and copyright notice and some dates there. Now, why do I want to hide that from the source page? There are two reasons. As much as I love DNN, I would love to publicize that this is a DNN website made with DNN, but when you hide the content management system that your site is built with, you also make it slightly more difficult for potential hackers, potential people that uh, may want to exploit some vulnerabilities of your site, which by the way, I don't know of any vulnerability right now on DNN9, but it makes things slightly more difficult for people to figure out what you're running your website on and gives you a little bit an extra layer of protection there. That's the first reason. The second reason why we want to not show that text is because it's more data, even though it's just about four lines of text, but it's more data going back and forth from the server. The, the less data that we have you know, coming through the pipe, the better for our website. And even if it's minor like that, I'll be honest with you, if I can remove any line of code or any text or any content from going back and forth from the server, I'll do that. I'll do that even if you cannot really realize the performance benefit, but I would remove that. So for those two reasons, security and you may say performance, I would remove those lines from there. So that's what this video is all about because previously on DNN, there was a checkbox very, very, very long time ago, there was a checkbox to remove that. Now, I think that from getting seven, eight, nine, this checkbox is no longer there, but you're gonna work around and manipulate the database directly. Before I tell you about the DNN tip of the week, I want to bring to your attention our sponsor, Manage.com. Why do I have them as a sponsor? Because I use them, because I trust them, because I have been running my business on their hosting environment for over seven years now. I trust them, I have used other providers, but at the end of the day, I go back to them because of their support level and their technical abilities as well. Let me tell you, no other support, no other hosting provider out there will call you on the phone to give you the status update of your ticket. Nobody will do that. And I get that from manage.com. That's what differentiates them. It's not only the technical side, which they are very good as well, the best one in the DNA space and beyond that, but they are also very good when it comes to support, when it comes to the personal touch. So my, my recommendation to you is host with them. You will not get disappointed. They have good rates and great, great, awesome support. That's it. Let's go back to our tip of the week. Okay, so first of all, how about we have a look and see what the copyright notice look like? So this is a DNN9-1 website, pretty new, brand new DNN9-1, website. If I, I'm logged in as super user here, if I right click on the page and click on view page source, this is the copyright notice that we want to remove. Now, before on DNN, and I'm talking about DNN5, maybe DNN6, I'm not sure, but before there used to be this option that says show copyright credits, and it used to be under host, host settings. And yes, this is a very, very, very old DNN website. So there used to be this checkbox. Now, this checkbox has been removed from the UI, so there is no place to do that anymore on the NN7, 8, or 9, but you can still manipulate that setting to remove this text by going straight into the database. And to do that on the NN9, we can go to the settings and then go to SQL console. And then we're just gonna execute a very simple SQL statement, which will be doing some changes. It's actually one single change to the host settings table. So we just have to copy and paste this 
this SQL statement where we're going to be changing the setting called copyright to setting value equals to n. By default, it's set, it's set to y, which means that show copyright notice, but we will be turning this to n. So let me run the script. So it did run successfully. Now let's have a look here under servers. Let's just clear the cache. And on top of that, I'm going to restart the application pool. I will refresh this and let me close the personal bar. Let me have a look at the view source again. And it's no longer there. You can find the scripts that I ran on the video notes, either on YouTube, on the web page that you're going to be seeing this video. And again, it's applicable to DNN. 7, DNN 8, and DNN 9 as well. If you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone, subscribe.